Hi everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Kidney K, the J stands for jerk because apparently my kidneys and hips are pairs of jerks. Um, I started light today um, and I showed you, uh, I'm calling her Joan. I made her in art therapy. Um, so she is Joan, the Christmas tree pine cone, uh, living in my room, a little festive anyways. Um, so I'm here, of course, to give an update about what's been going on with me. Um, there will be no tears in this video. That is my goal. Um, maybe tears of gratitude, but you know, no, um, no real tears anyways. Um, so first, gratitude, we'll start off with that. Thank you, everyone for all of your kind messages, your words of wisdom, your words of hope, all of the super thanks, people who um, join memberships, um, people have sent me emails, just thank you so much. Um, there have been messages I've read that, um, yeah, it, like I said, it's just, it's overwhelming the, the support um, in this community. I also want to um, talk about like my situation, my family life and my friend's life. Um, don't worry, I'm not sitting here alone 24 seven. Um, I do have family that comes and visits. I've spoken before about my dad. He's my rock. Um, he comes and visits. Now they're not here 24 seven. I have a strong stance about that. I don't need enablers around me. Um, and to be at my beck and call 24 seven. I just need, you know, emotional support and know that they're there for me. So um, I do have that in my life, just just so people know that, you know, I'm not, it's not poor old KJ sitting here like by herself all the time. Um, so update. So quick, 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 quick uh, recap. Broke one hip and a November, the left hip. Uh, had a full hip replacement, broke the other hip a few days later, had another right hip full hip replacement. Um, so two major surgeries within four days. Was walking around with the assistance of the physio team, of course, um, and was brought to rehab last Saturday. Now, for some reason, I had been experiencing immense pain in the left leg, which was the leg that actually had the surgery first. Um, they did an x-ray and ortho, the orthopedic team said, listen, there's no breaks. So like, you're good. Um, it was my dialysis team, my nephrology team that, uh, actually pushed the button for me to have a CT to see what was going on. Um, they know me very well. Um, they know I'm not one to give up. Um, I'm no, they know I'm not one to complain about pain if it's not there. Um, so they did a CT. So, and that's where I left off my last video. And the CT scans are in, and it's a clusterfuck, <laughs> to say the least. So the radiologist read, uh, looked at the CT, and his report said that um, there is a screw loose that is actually pushing into the flesh, and that's the reason for pain. This was forwarded to the surgeon. I had the same surgeon for both hips, and he disagrees with the radiologist. Um, I actually had a speakerphone uh, appointment conversation with him with a care coordinator here, which thank goodness. And he, his opinion and stance is basically, listen, this woman uh, went through two major surgeries in four days. She's gonna have a lot of pain, of course. She's gonna have a lot of inflammation, of course. But um, as far as I can see, the radiologist is wrong and my work is impeccable, um, which didn't really explain to me why the left hurts more than the right. Um, he said, there's different rates of healing. Um, so <laughs> that's where we were. Then a few days later, uh, a floor doctor here said, okay, um, we're going to get a third opinion. 
So they are actually getting another orthopedic surgeon to look over the the CT scan and the radiologist report and see if he thinks that it's just inflammation and swelling or that there is actually a screw that is loose. Um, egos, man. That's all I got to say is egos. So hitches that it is the holidays. So that was yesterday. Um, floor doctor came in and said, listen, uh, this third opinion surgeon probably isn't going to have a chance or going to be in his office until Wednesday. Um, so that's where I am now. I'm kind of in purgatory. We're hoping if this other surgeon sees the same thing the radiologist uh, sees and relays it to my original surgeon, um, he's more likely to sort of listen to the opinion of, you know, his his colleagues that's where I am like physically very clinically that's where I am um pain wise a lot better than I was a week ago now a week ago I didn't have the CT scan and they drastically cut my pain meds did not complain um as soon as they saw that the radiologist said listen there's a screw that's like hitting her flesh um they increased my pain medication so I do take um hydromorphone hydromorphine um, for physio, ambulatory physio only. Um, I'll take about an hour before, um, just takes the edge off the pain. Um, and they're encouraging me to just work through the pain and they see I have been, they know that I have been. Um, yeah, so uh, physio comes five to six times a week. I do my little bed exercises with my weights. Um, I do try to sit in a chair as much as possible. Um, it's just frustrating just waiting to see like w w what's going to happen. Now, pain, like I said, is way better than last week. I'm not sure if that's because of the implementation of pain medications back again or it is getting better. Now, um, I hope and pray that the surgeon that did the hip replacements is right. And it's just that it's so much inflammation um, and it's gonna take a while to come down. That would be the best case scenario. Um, worst case scenario obviously would be we'd have to go back in and do a revision, tighten that screw and you know, another setback. Um, I have an estimated discharge date of January 13th. Um, that of course can be moved at, back or pushed up. Let's hope for pushed up, um, depending on everything that happens. Um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, those of you who've ever been long-term in a hospital know that uh, it's just taxing. It's just wearing. Um, one thing uh, that kind of pissed me off, I'm kind of, I'm laughing about it as well, is uh, the floor doctor comes in, talks to me, says, oh, by the way, what's your diet? So I said, my diet is a typical renal diet. No phos low phosphorus, low potassium, low salt, no more than one liter a day. Now he noticed on my, um, like there's a little thing you could order your meals that I was not fluid restricted. So he set the fluid restriction at one liter Okay, fine, that's great. I would never go over it anyways. But the only fluids he left me with is milk and juice, like apple juice. I'm not a toddler. I don't drink milk and I don't drink apple juice. I like my coffee in the morning and I like a hot tea. So he took away all the hot beverages and I told him this and he's like, oh no, oh no. Okay, I'll fix it right away. Listen, KJ's, KJ's uh, not new to this rodeo. Uh, I knew it wouldn't be an easy fix because it's a system thing with the, the kitchen system. And I don't think you could just pick and choose hot and cold liquids. What I think it um, defaulted to do is maybe just keep the, uh, the fluids with the most nutrients, right? So it leaves you with milk and juice. So mm, I had uh, my dad bring me a coffee this morning. 
Um, I will have visitors over at Christmas. I'll get them to bring me a coffee. Um, but uh, they know I'm not going to go over my fluid limit. So hopefully it might be just a fix of like lifting that fluid limit completely. Um, who knows? But that's just like one of the minor, minor things. Um, oh God, I've been rambling for like 11 minutes. Anyways, um, again, thank you everyone for everything. Um, all the, the positive vibes. Um, we'll see how rehab goes this week. See what the other surgeon says come Wednesday. I will update you guys and, um, you know, just know how grateful I am for every comment, every super thanks, every membership, every email, everything and Twitter people. Um, I'm on Twitter a lot too, so, you know, catch me there um, if you wanted to. Okay, thank you. Bye, guys.